An Orange County jury could start deliberating by the end of the day on whether the man convicted of killing a Winter Park woman will be sentenced to death. Family and friends of Scott Nelson testified yesterday with the defense arguing he had a rough childhood. News Six's Vanessa Ariza has been in court all morning. She now uh, outside the courthouse for us. So bring us up to speed on what's going on right now, Vanessa. Well, Justin, the defense called two more witnesses to the stand this morning. The first was a prison expert, and he went into detail about Nelson's incarceration and the certain area that he was in. That expert explained that while Nelson was in prison, he was in special housing about 94% of the time, saying this was kind of unique, that Nelson couldn't keep his mouth shut, and oftentimes he liked to be by himself. Now, the prison expert went on to say that Nelson made a lot of people upset while locked up different ethnic groups in the prison system. He mentioned the Muslims did not like him, nor did African Americans, saying the only people Nelson did not make upset were Hispanics. Now this is when Nelson to began to get testy and talk back. Mr. Nelson, Mr. Nelson, you need to take a moment. Mr. Nelson, you need to take a moment with your attorneys. Hold on, sir. Sir. Members of the jury, Mr. Nelson, Mr. Nelson. And there was much more of that with Nelson and the judge going back and forth and Nelson with his attorneys. In fact, there was a short recess that was taken as a result of that. We're going to show you more of what happened in the courtroom coming up tonight, starting at 430. But until then, Judge Keith White has recessed jurors until Monday because of the 4th of July weekend, telling them, thank you. We will see you on Monday and we will continue this and we may find out Nelson's future come next week. We'll have more coming up tonight on News 6, but for now, live at the Orange County Courthouse, Vanessa Arisa getting results, News 6. All right.